Hello everyone. Um, I have seen a couple of people on the internet uh, trying to figure out how to best um, draw over 3D objects uh, that they bring into Clip Studio Paint. And I, um, I saw a way of doing it and I, wanted, I just wanted to share it with other people so they can enjoy it. As you can see over here, I've already imported uh, two other 3D objects that I've created myself and I'm about to import another one and I'm going to show you how to do it. I have an open 11 by 17 inch page right here. The size doesn't matter and I've already created a a model right here which I'm going to bring into uh, Clip Studio Paint uh, just by dragging and dropping. Um, I have it in uh, object mode, uh, it's a 3D object, OBJ, and I'm simply going to drag it in. And um, as you see now, I have a 3D object that you can turn around, and um, you can even mess with the lighting. If you go to the tools property, um, if you don't see this, there, there will be a, a box right here that says light source. You can turn that off so you have no light source, but you need the light source for this next part. And you turn this on, you can actually drag on the ball so that you can light the part that you're looking at. And you can tell that now the lighting is uh, where you need it. So you can move it around, and if you move it to a different location, you can change the lighting again. Um, now, to the part about getting this to be useful for a drawing. Uh, we want outlines and stuff. So in the layers property for this 3D layer that you're working on, there's these two buttons. Um, there's the border effect and you want to click that and it'll be set to white. I don't know why it's set to white for default, but just choose black and put it in there. Put a black color in there and then the line thickness or the thickness of the edge you're just going to boost that and you see um, as I click it it starts to put a, an outline around the, the 3D object. This is a desk with some computer monitors that I modeled in Blender and then well now you need the lines on the inside and the button that does that is this button right next to it which is extract line and if you click this, it automatically turns to white, and you see that it outlines the um, the inside parts that you need for drawing. And um, you can thicken those lines up a little bit by just clicking this uh, correction line width um, right here. And now you have something that you could use um, as a drawing. And if you want to color it, uh, a really quick way to do it would be to just hold down control. I don't know what it is on the Mac, but hold down control and then click in the actual layer where the 3D object is. And I don't know why it's not happening now. Okay, and then you'll get the, the dancing ants selection around it. And then on the, on the layer below, just pick a color and you have a selection already so just hit the fill and now that layer below is filled and you are going to hit um, hold down alt and duplicate this turn off the eye on the the first version and then you're going to go to your layer properties thing here and hit rasterize or raster yeah I think it's called rasterize and now it's 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 a flat object now uh, you can no longer turn it in 3d because you've already chosen how you want it to be but you still have the 3d version below it which you can turn if you want to save that so basically I turn off the 3d one and then the one that I flattened which is rasterized I set that to multiply and there you go so now you have the color, just the outlines, if that's what you want. You don't have to color it that way, but 
you can just use these outlines and, and then fill the colors if you want or you can do it my way and if on this color version you um, turn on the uh, transparent pixel you lock the, the transparent pixels you can then begin to to color this uh, the other parts of it um, by going right above it and you begin to color like the different parts of it different colors and I'm not going to do all this but just to give you an idea of how quick and easy Eclipse Studio Paint makes this thing work I, mean, I love this program it is amazing that would have taken me so long to redraw every time from every different angle now I have the monitors I have the desk and um, if I want to go further with it um, I can turn back on this um, actually you know what I can just turn on the 3d grid that was already with the model as you can tell right there's on the layer and I'll put a new layer let's put a layer behind this all put a new layer behind all of it and then I can simply take my my pen tool and I can start drawing gotta make sure that it's um gotta make sure that this button is clicked so that it follows the um the grids but you see the grid is already set up for you so you can uh draw your room that goes with the you know 3d object that that you made it's already set up it's I mean this is this is pretty amazing stuff so there you go that's just a quick example of how quickly you can turn a 3d model into you know colored outlined art um, I hope this this quick tutorial has been helpful to someone and uh, Enjoy Clip Studio Paint. It's awesome. I like it better than Photoshop.